my crafty friends and welcome back to my channel and another month of so you only have 10 minutes my series where i show you how much you can actually get done in just a little bit of time i am using the march 2021 sheet load from alicia of call me crafty owl she just came out with this and i want to show you what i did to prepare We've got the circle, we've got a little die cut here, and we've got the patterned paper. We've got the cutting guides. We're use, making 12 card bases. It uses two pieces of pattern paper, and you cut it like so. I found some paper that I had been given from the lady that started me crafting clocks and some real pretty purple patterny paper. I thought I was going to be able to do the nautical theme kind of like Alicia did, but I didn't have a second piece of paper. So, and I've already cut everything. I cut my circles and the brown backing. I've cut my cut and scored my card bases and these I went ahead and put through the embossing folder and I will have that picture up there for you and then I used my little palm leaf die and I made these so all this preparation took probably 15 20 minutes I will be using Pear Pizzazz to stamp with. We're going to go ahead and put the cards together. Put the paper on the bases. And I have my 10 minutes here. So let us begin. So we have 12 cards. A2 size. As she shows here, this piece, this piece is going to go up against like this. Let's see how she has it here. I made sure I have plenty of refills for this. I thought this would be very appropriate for a masculine card. Um, anything to do with clocks, machinery, boats. This one doesn't go down all the way. You want a little border at the bottom here. And then we're going to be putting these on too, but I wanted to put this paper on first. Kind of an assembly style, assembly line. Now she rounded the corners, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be donating these cards to a rescue mission. It's always hard to make masculine cards. I'm just going to have to 
get some more papers to do that with. because we are making 12 this time. I think it will take a little bit longer than the hour that I have been taking total. That I like. I like the design. I decided to do the die cut kind of at the last minute. I was trying to figure out what I would use and then I saw this and I thought, oh, that's perfect. Big time clock there. And of course, that's going to be covered up by that middle piece. Okay. And as usual, I'm using 110 pound cardstock for my bases. on to the opposite here where we put this piece on the top I really kind of fussed over trying to find just the right paper as I said these are just random pieces that my friend to me, but I think it turns out rather well. I'll let you be the judge when I get them all together. There's no green really in here, but there is just a little hint of green here. Now you can always mat this if you want. Well, I don't know, maybe not because 
unless you don't want to put it all the way up to the top. But then that would throw off the measurement. Almost done. We got a little over a minute. down to the wire. I can tell is it getting really close to being done. I think it is. Okay. Yeah, that figures, huh? All right. And in doubt, get the glue out. All right. Okay, there's our time. Okay. So we're almost done. I've got all these put on. So we will finish up. And then I'll put these pieces on. I emboss, put these in the embossing folder and gave them a little bit of texture. And then we'll go from there. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of thing. I do these once a month, so please join me in the next video. See you soon. Bye-bye.